Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Everything okay, teacher. Excellent, teacher. What about you? Ah, everything was good. Always working hard, trying to do many activities, but happy to go. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. So, anybody have a difficult day today? Mm, no, I, I don't know with the, the, the partner. No? No. No. All right. Mm. All right, guys, so mm, let's go ahead and get started if we are ready. Uh, the first thing we're going to start off with is making sure that we don't have any questions about the listening or the reading. Um, yesterday, we had the opportunity to almost to finish. Some people didn't get a chance to finish all of the activities for the, the test. Uh, did you finish later? No, teacher. No, no yet. No yet. No yet. No problem. No. We'll take, Not yet. I think only only is necessary a few more minutes, right? Maybe uh, seven minutes to finish the last questions that you had, or no? Um, I I don't know. Why a little bit more time. Ten minutes. Yes. For the midterm. Ten minutes. Yeah, because. I, I have the, the answer, but the platform no not not recognized it. Okay, no problem. We don't want to take too much time. That way we can do other activities, but here are the 12. Um, it shouldn't take you too long because most of the time you had yesterday to finish. So let's start off with seven minutes um, in the midterm. And then if you need more time, maybe we can see about more time, but that way we have the opportunity to continue with other activities. Okay. 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 All right, guys. So seven minutes, let's go.
Guadalupe, you're not speaking. What happened? The microphone's not working. Hi, teacher. All right, Rodrigo. Hello, teacher. Hello, Rodrigo. How are you? I'm fine. In the in the group in the WhatsApp and writing in the in the connection. Mm. I don't understand. What, Rodrigo? Rodrigo, I repeat, I didn't understand. Rodrigo, you okay? It's, you have problems speaking? Hello. What happened, Rodrigo? Yes, teacher, and the, in the group, in the WhatsApp. What happened in the group, in the WhatsApp, Rodrigo? No. Oh. Uh-huh, Rodrigo? The connection. No, you didn't have the link. Know. We couldn't, teacher. Huh? We couldn't, teacher. You couldn't, you, in two days, yesterday and today. No, not finished. <laughs> no, but only four. Four questions. Yeah, number one, number one 
All right. Okay, let's practice together because remember that this is the same. The, the idea is not if you can do it or not. The idea is if you can do it in the time. It's not about, ah, I can do it in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Can you do it in five minutes? Can you do it in seven minutes? Because in the exam is time, 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 time. But in this case, maybe the platform uh, is... It's a little wrong. So maybe let's check. Sometimes the platform has the spelling mistake, different mistake. The good is in the TOEFL exam, everything is multiple choice. Super easy. A, B, C, D, boom. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In the platform, mm, sometimes like has a, a few mistakes, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. let's check together. Maybe, maybe the mistake is the platform. Maybe the mistake is us. Let's see what we have. Okay, number one, the review of reading and listening section. What are two types of listening questions we have gone over in this course? The number one, teacher. Mm -hmm. What are the two types of questions that we that we learned for the listening? Give proper question. Yes, uh -huh, yes. And give content for question. So purpose and content. And content. Okay, all right. Oh, really? Because we write gis completely clear, gis content and gis. Yes. Ah, gis, no purpose. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No, but uh, gis content question. Okay, gis content questions. All right, don't worry, we're going to check in a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are three types or three words that are used in inference questions? But the question number one. Uh, two types, this uh -huh. content I... question and this content, this purpose question. And detailed question. Ah, uh, yeah, detailed question. Oh, oh. Mm, I hear a lot of answers. I hear a lot of answers, but only is two. Yes. But purpose. Okay. Uh -huh. so this content just, purpose. So we have gist and purpose. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. Number two, type in three words which are used to for inference questions. What are the words that we use for inference? Apply inference, suggest. Mm -hmm. Imply. 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 Almost. Refer. Infer. Yes. Infer. Infer. No. Suggest. 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 Okay. Number three. All right. Nuri, number three. Number three is uh, uh, reading. Reading. Okay. Luis Molina, number four. I don't remember. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Your, your ability to understand academic English. Okay. Rodrigo Eduardo, number five. The, this one is the second one, both types of questions. Both types of question, all right. Okay, Guadalupe, number six. Uh, the second, identify information, not playing, stay in the reading passage. Okay, good. Very strange. Okay, uh, what's number seven? Mirna. The second, the second. Maybe another step, teacher. Which one? No, the second one, not accept. No, not accept. Okay. Miguel, what's number eight? Taylor, questions. Detail questions. All right. Let's take a look. Mirna, what does the listening section of the TOEFL test measure? Mm -hmm. 
I think this purpose question, teacher. Purpose question. It mentions purpose and what? Don't worry, don't worry. We got some more people to help you. Don't worry. Alexander, what else? I Number think nine. Is, co is content? Is proposed content. content? Oops. Venga. Content. All right. Let's see. Rodrigo Eduardo, number 10. Okay, Doris, number 10. Uh, give the first and the question. The content. Content. Okay. Yeah. Roxana, number 11. Uh, give content and give purpose question. Okay. The first one. Just, all right. And the last one, Alexander? Give purpose question. Okay. So we're going to find out right now. Let's see. Some of them seem complicated. Let's take a look at the beginning. The first one. What is the two types? There we go. Just and purpose questions. Those are the two types of questions. Just and purpose. And purpose. Oh. Questions. There we go. It's okay. Look, maybe the mistake is the G. The G has to be capital, the first G. Okay. What about number two? Three words that are used in inference questions. Imply, infer, suggest. Perfect. Yes? Yes. Good. Number three is correct. Number four is correct. Number five is correct. Number six. Excellent. Number seven. Eight, wow, look at that. Okay, here, what is the purpose of the listening section? Is mm -hmm. to understand and you're under, to understand spoken English. Mm -hmm. That's it. And it measures your ability. Mm -hmm. This is the idea. Really, mm -hmm. it's the same. It measures your ability to understand spoken English. But it's necessary to write all of the, all your ability to understand the spoken English. Yes, it's necessary okay. to write complete. Okay. okay. It's necessary to write it complete. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number 10 is the gist. And number 11, of course, the gist and the purpose and content. And the last one, number 12, correct. All right. Any questions? No. No? No. 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 Okay. So let's take a moment and we're going to go ahead and practice a few exercises. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, we are ready. The first that we're going to practice is the listening because listening is difficult. It's more difficult than the reading. Reading, you have more time, you have more analysis, the different things, okay? So we're gonna practice one listening to a lecture. You're only going to have, in this case, you're going to have three, the listening is 344, five, four, six. You're gonna have eight minutes eight minutes to complete with your partners. You can find the link in the chat. We are, there we go. Okay. Let me put the time so that we can practice with our partner, make sure that we have the correct ones. Eight minutes, one moment. Okay.
Okay, guys. So how are we? Good. Good? Yes. Okay. How many correct? Five correct, six correct, four correct? Uh, six correct, but Doris is the number one because she helped me. <laughs> excellent, excellent. That's yeah. great. That's great. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to do part two. Part two is where we go back the same, but on the bottom, you're going to see a little link. It says- I don't hear very well, teach. No. And the others, can you hear me or no? Yes, I can. Good. Yes, yes, teach. Yes? yes. Okay. Luis, check. Ah, don't worry, Guadalupe, it's in the chat. The link is in the chat. I put again, just in case. There you go. All right. So for those that missed it is one more time there. Uh, now we're going to go and there's a part where it says show script. In show script is the opportunity to see why is correct or why it's wrong. We can read and we have a moment to analyze. In the exam, okay. you don't have. But here we have the moment to identify why. Why the mistake? Why not the mistake? So now you and your partners are going to read. One is Charlene, one is the professor. You're going to read and make sure that you can identify all the vocabulary and check. Do you understand? You don't understand? It's important to see ah, why number one which of the following is, if, is defined as a number of children born per 1,000 people per year. Ah, where, where in the conversation do they mention that? The idea is to identify where to see if you are understanding correctly. So for example, like Alex said, hey, hey my partner helped me. Okay, but why? Which one you didn't understand? This mm -hmm. is the important. Identify why you didn't understand and try to improve it, okay? So the same thing, here, you're going to read with your partner. One is professor, one is Charlene. Then we change. Then I am Charlene, my partner, professor. Then we discuss and we identify partner number two. Donde está el number two? Where's number two? Ah, because number two is here, partner. Here it says this, this, and this. Ah, number one. Why number one is this? Where? Where is number one? It's not only ah, read and finish. No. In TOEFL, you have to analyze and be clear why the answer is correct. It's okay? Any questions? Show a script, okay? Yes, correct, okay. Okay. correct. Okay, let's go with our partners. Okay.
Okay, Alex, how are we? Uh -huh. Hello, how are you? <laughs> good. Any... Yes, excellent. Yes? Gino okay. is a good professor. Gino, ha, ah, there we go. A good professor. And Doris is a good chaplain. Oh, the best. Good team. There you go. It's a good team. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, why is the reading important? because this is, gives you an idea when you are reading the level of English and the level that you need to look for. No, uh, I'm going to read an article. I'm going to read a book. No, you need to look for activities, for books, for articles, similar to this level of reading, okay? Yes. That way it's going to help you so you can understand more vocabulary and get more vocabulary. Today we finish. Oh, sorry, Gino, go ahead. Yeah, I, I was just wondering, teacher, if you recommended uh, to improve our listening, to uh, maybe listen to audiobooks and, and stuff like that? Yes, the, it's very important, not only the audiobooks, but the, the idea of using your brain to imagine the conversation. Because many times the people listen and they and they listen and then one or two words they don't understand and they are blocked. So mm. that's why it's very important. All of that ideas for expanding your vocabulary, but especially with the listening. Usually, usually the lowest, the lowest level is in the listening. Usually the people have the highest level in the reading and in the writing, mm -hmm. but the lowest okay. points are usually in the listening. Okay. 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 All right. Now, today we finish unit two. We finished the midterm. We are exactly, we are actually, we are a one class ahead of schedule, which is perfect. For me, I prefer ahead of schedule, then I know we have to hurry. So for me, it's excellent news. But this means that in the next class, we begin the speaking. And also, it's very important for our speaking. Is not the same speaking, Marvin, how are you? Luis, how was your day? Then speaking in an exam is completely different, completely different, okay? okay. The, same, the same for a job, the same for immigration, the same for uh, when you go to the airport is not the same. I want to buy a hamburger, I want to buy, it's completely different. So today we're going to watch some videos to give us an idea of what to look for in the speaking. Okay. 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 All right. Good. Okay, teacher. Welcome to our speaking section. In this section, we will go through challenges of speaking, about the speaking section, a type of question, speaking practice. Those are the objectives. Those are the four things we're going to learn about in the sections. The challenges is number one. One of the biggest challenges about speaking is timing. Becoming fluent will help you deal with it. Fluency refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed. Okay, so why is different? 
Because when you have your friends, when you have a conversation in class, ah, how was your day? Uh, well, um, today I went, we are friends, no problem. But in the exam, all of this, lose points, lose points, lose points, lose points, lose. You have to speak just like you are a pro. So the timing, remember, the timing is the issue. Always you got, uh, all right, Gino. Uh, always you have to go for the specific times. Here, let's look at some of the things that they talk about. Oops, sorry. Here is our video. Okay. The speaking section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to convey ideas. Your response should demonstrate effective use of grammar and vocabulary. It should be well-developed and coherent. So that means that is a completely different. Everything that you say, everything that you do, they evaluate you in the speaking section. What do I mean by everything? I mean from answering completely punctuation, final sounds, intonation, uh, vocabulary usage, grammar, contractions, the models, the, everything that you do is evaluated in the, in the speaking section. So okay. if they give you a picture, they talk, they say, tell me about yourself. They talk all of these different things. You are, believe me, everything is a point. And it's better to try to do your best to get more points, but the way is by knowing the techniques. When you have to do, you always have 10, 15 seconds to organize. That's it. No, okay, tell me about the picture. It, no, you have 10, 15 seconds to think about your answer, and then the recording is automatic. No, okay. I, no, stay listo, no, stay listo. No, 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 that, that is too bad. Begin recording, begin recording. And that is it. So important, learn to deal with the stress. Learn to deal with the pressure. Hey, you have 30 seconds, boom, go. All right, Luis, you have 30 seconds, go, go, go. Hey, hey, uh, no, too bad, Luis, bad points, bad points. The same for that. So in this moment, only we're gonna take a few moments. And for you, before we continue with the speaking section, do you feel confident for the reading, for the listening to, do you understand the concept, how to prepare for the listening, how to prepare for the reading? Yes, the last week, well, the last week and this week is okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah? it's a, yes, it's yeah. No questions? Not right now. No. No? No. No. Okay. All right. Very good. That way we are clear. Let me go back a little bit. There is something that they don't have here. Okay. Let me show you a little bit on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right here. Here we have a little bit. Anat Agua from Welcome to edX. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who would like to read? Mm -hmm. Me? Okay. Can you please read? Okay. Everything? Welcome yes. to edX. Yes, yes. Um, I'm Anat Agua. Um, I'm the president of edX and I am also a professor of electrical engineering in computer science at MIT or IMT. MIT. Oh, uh -huh. and I Online learning is revolution in the world. Education will never be the same again. And X is at the cutting edge of the revolution. So when you take X cures online, you are part of the evolution. Online learning in this ultimate democracy. When you learn or X, you're joining a community. Imagine taking a class with 100,000 or more students the social. It's a lot of fun. I think you will enjoy the experience. Okay, right there. 
Now, why do they mention that? Because if you want to improve your academic English, it's important to take an academic class. Begin with edX, begin with others, TEDx, begin with other where you learn something in English. Not only learn English, learn something new in English. Learn engineering, mathematics, history, science, philosophy, but learn something in English. That way you experience how it is the process of being in a class, mm -hmm. okay? okay? Don't worry, it's only today, only the introduction for speaking. On Friday, maybe we have class, maybe no. Check the WhatsApp, mm -hmm. depend on the situation. But if we have class, I will be here on Friday, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Good teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice Thank night. You, Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you. Good night, everyone. Have Bye. a nice week. Enjoy tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. -bye. Bye. Bye.